Hello my beautiful bitterroots and welcome to my channel and today I am going to do a product project polishathon update. I totally spaced recording the ending to my January nail polish picks and picking out my February nail polish picks so and I totally did not take any photos of my nails last month. I was so bad, so bad. But just a quick recap, um, I have the stamping polish. I just painted my nails like all this color. Um, and I loved it. I, I really loved them. They were so pretty. And yes, I, I no regrets, no regrets. Okay, so each month I was choosing a color to the gemstone and then building my color selection. So the first one that I had picked out, which was the Cirque in the color Garnet, which is a beautiful um, Garnet color with all these holographic little glares to it. I use that. Next one is MLF Lacquers. And this one is Just Winging It Snow Day, which is a very pale um, blue with holographic glitters in there. And I just did the full manicure with this. I didn't do any stamping. I was so bad last month that I didn't do any stamping. I just did full manicures with just the polish. <laughs> so there's that. Next one was this Emily de Molly in the color Enchanted Forest, which is this beautiful um, pale aqua shade. So beautiful. I love this. Again, full on manicure with this. Loved every moment of it. I think I forgot to use. No, wait. No, I used it. I used it. There's two others that I have in here that I did forget to use. So and this one is Holocon by, or Hal, Hal Scion, Hal Scion, Hal Scion, I don't know, it's by Cirque Colors, it's this metallic rose gold kind of shade, so yeah, use that one, and then the next, oh wait, and then I also had Hello Taco in all, one or one coat black, and then the next two I did not use. I failed in that department, but I'll just roll it into another month. Um, hit the bottle in this turquoise color in called Sweeten the Teal. Didn't get around to using this, and I was hoping to be able just to roll it over and try to use it for February. Never even got around to using it then, but I'm sure that I will pull it in for some, some stamping thing um, in the future. And then I have Zoya in the color Air. And again, it's another one that I totally forgot to use. These cream ones are easy for me to use. Like, I love using the stuff with glitters and all that stuff. But the cream ones, those are the ones that I like to use for stamping. So it would, I can see myself just using it for stamping purposes. I don't know, I'll pull it in sometime this year. So. I'm not too worried that I didn't use these two for January. So January is wrapped up. Let's go to my February picks. So my first pick was this Sweet and Sour Lacquer, and this is in the color Aussie Fire. Now this is one that you cannot get only because I personally did a custom polish with Sweet and Sour Lacquer and created this polish. Now what I wanted it to do was Remini be reminiscent of an opal and I called it Aussie fire because I wanted so my husband's birthstone is oct is opal he's a October baby I am a July baby so my birthstone is ruby so I told her I wanted an opal with either a ruby red flash in it or I wanted a ruby with like an opalescent flash to it so she chose to go with the opal with the red fire flash. So I don't know if you can see in there, but it does have 
you know, this red flash to this polish. It's so beautiful. It is what I'm wearing on my middle finger. I've worn this twice this month already. So this one was part of a nail polish Valentine's thing with these other two shades. So I did this red, the pink, and the white for my Valentine's nails. I wasn't super thrilled with them, so I didn't take a photo of them. So that's probably why. But I use, put this on and then stamped this on as a heart and this on as a heart. And then I kind of did, um, I stamped this, I put this one down and then stamped a white over the top of it and then put a white uh, matte coat, a matte top coat on it. That turned out super cute. I really liked how that looked with this. Um, but, um, and then I did kind of like a little swirly effect with all three of these on another one and that one didn't turn out as good as I like so I wasn't like super thrilled with these but let's go on this is polished by days bought polished four days and this is in the color opal watermelon and this one I got from the polish pickup so it's not available but it's this beautiful um pink opal shade that they named opal watermelon I love this polish. This next one is this OPI in the colored Donkey Shiny Red. This one was a red polish that my foreign exchange student from Italy um, got for me, my Francesca. So, yes. So, these three were used in a manicure together. The next one I used in a manicure all by itself was this Emily Damali. In the color sweet sacrifice which is this beautiful amethyst color polish hence the stones that i wanted to pick a polish out specifically for the month this was my amethyst shade and i just did it by itself as a full manicure and i really love emily damali there she's one of my favorite um, nail polish brands i've got a few favorites i i love my indie brands let's just say that i love my indie brands but yes I just enjoyed just a sweet little manicure of this one. And it was the first manicure that I did for the month. So the, what I'm trying to do is for the beginning of the next month, do my first manicure being the um, gemstone of the month. So that's what I did with this. All right. So the next one are two that I am wearing on my nails today, which is never mind. This was another polish pickup. One, and this one was a forbidden ride, and this one was based off of Harley, Harley Davidson, and um, my husband and I are Harley people. I don't have my own motorcycle, me, in the future. I'm just happy to be his, his bitch on the back. So, yes, so this one was based off Harley, and normally <laughs> what I do when I have something like super, like, valentine vomit on my nails kind of scenario with the pinks and all that stuff i like to go like an anti-valentine color and go dark so hence my nails for <laughs> this go around so i use the um the nevermind one on my pinky and this one um so yes definitely love this polish Next one I used is uh, Emily Damali. Again, <laughs> another one that I love. This one is um, magnetic polish. And this is Fire From Within, which is this nudie shade, which has got all of these um, flakies in it. It's so beautiful. And then once you get the, I don't know if you can see the cat's eye, like little magnet little thing. So I did that on my ring finger and my pointer finger, and then I magnetized them. And then this one I stamped with a white polish with this white maniology in uh, bam white and with hollow tacos, one coat black. And I stamped over the top to get that little motif. And then I just kind of painted like a little abstract French manicure with the black and the white and then I did do um, a 
shimmer top coat, which was by Moomoo Designs. I should have grabbed that and showed you because it was part of my thing. So anyway, I'll probably use it again. But yep. So that's my nail polish and I have two more for this month and so I will be removing these nails doing one more um, nail polish look for to round out February and so I picked out gin which is oh no wrong spot which is this beautiful blue and then this one which was rogue lacquer in it's gonna be May and I think this one was based off of Backstreet Boys or in seek one of the two instead of it's gonna be me who sang that one backstreet boys I can't remember Oof. but it's this speckled um, kind of like off-white base with blue gold purple like little specks and flecks in there and I love that so I figured I was just gonna do a little manicure with both of these so that rounds out those now let me show you what I have picked for March so that way when I update in April will be good we'll do the follow-through so this one's gonna be a little bit longer just because I have three months I have to go through so my picks for March since I'm um, we're only a week out to the end of the month for um, February um, my picks for March, the birthstone color is aquamarine. So I chose I Love Nail Polish in the color Harbor Island. And this one I love to do like a marbled look with this because this is a jelly. And then I use the white polish, stamping like a little marbling, like little squigglies. Put this over the top do another layer of little squigglies put this on top if I want to do another layer I can and then do this on top to finish it off um, I've done that Paul that manicure before but I figured since this is aquamarine might as well make it look like a gemstone so that's what my very first nail look is gonna be for March And then because it is going to be um, St. Patrick's Day, I needed a green polish. So I pulled out my absolute favorite green polish of life, which is pretty beautiful, unlimited polish. And I'm already down to here. <laughs> I love it. And this was from December 2020. I think this was a polish pickup one. And this is called Breathe. So it's a beautiful like Christmas tree, like emerald green with all of these flakies and, and stuff. It's just beautiful and I love it. So the next counterpart that I want to do for my nails is this KB Shimmer in the color Bling on the New Year. It's mostly got like a cool tone gold, but some other like little things in there. So I figured I can do some sort of St. Patrick's Day nail art with these. And then I wanted pastel. So I picked out five pastel shades. If I don't get through all of them in the month, that's fine. I just may do a Skittles manicure with them with the MLF lacquers one. So MLF lacquers came out with a few years ago, their Easter collection. So she has here which is a uh, blueberry smoothie, which is beautiful purple, pastel -y purple with all these like little flakies and glitters and holographic. It's so beautiful. MLF lacquer is no longer in business. They're one of my favorites. I'm super sad that they're no more, no longer in business, but, um, I don't know if you could tell, but I mean, I've used quite a bit of this. <laughs> so, um, yes, so there's that. I think I probably will just do a Skittles manicure with these. I don't know. We'll see. The next one from that collection is Easter Egg Hunt, and it's this green with all of these, like, pastel glitters. And there's also miniature holographic little glitters, but there's lots of different colors in there. There is 
blue, purple, pink, yellow, maybe green. It's either yellow or green glitters in there. But that's what the swatch looks like. Very Easter-like. Um, that one may also get rolled over into the following year. I can't remember when Easter falls. Um, yeah, Easter falls somewhere. So the, some of these I may not get through. If I don't, then that's all right. Um, I'll just roll it over into whatever remainder into the next month. Um, so that way they kind of coincide with Easter. This next one is this blue one, and this one's Robin's Egg. This one was my favorite of the collection. So beautiful with all these little speckle, like there's tiny little purple shimmers in there and then lots of little blue shards and glitters and just fun stuff. really love it. Next one by MLF Lacquer is this pink one, and this is Tulip Garden. This beautiful pink one. This one's got gold shimmers to it. Tiny little shimmers, but yep, there's that. And I can't remember what the purple one had because normally she does like a little extra color. Um, it looks like a purple shimmer that's in there. Little fine, fine, fine shimmer. And the last one that I have picked out is Caticula. And this one is in the color Bloom, and this was from February 2021, Polish Pickup. It's this beautiful blue with all of these white and purple glitters. They're all settled. I gotta shake it up. But that is what the swatch looks like. So pretty, and so I'm like, I feel like spring. So if I don't get through all of this, and the reason why I'm saying I may not get through all of these is because I am going to do my official project polish. I've got 10 polishes waiting in the wings. That'll be the next video. And um, yeah, I just miss actually trying to use up some polishes. So these are, these are not going to get, I'm not going to get through them as fast as what I used to when I was just solely dedicating. I still want to get through my uh, polishes. So I'm just going to be working those things into the stuff that I use here. And whatever I don't use, it's not a big deal. I could just set them aside and then pull them into another month, another time. So super easy. But yes, that it rounds out my polishes. So um, I'll give you a little update uh, beginning of April. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in my next video.